I'm with you today in my office because this is where Lenny lives. So today, oh hi Christopher, buddy you're blocking the camera. So today we are going to be talking about bearded dragons with our buddy Lenny. Say hi Lenny. Me and Lenny miss you all, but I'm very excited because I've got my life cycle of a bearded dragon book. Which if you look at the cover, look, it starts as an egg. Then what did they become? A hatchling, a juvenile, a sub-adult, and an adult. So we're going to go through the bearded dragon life cycle together. So the first one, as we talked about, is an egg. And if you look at those pictures on top, you could see, look how tiny bearded dragon eggs are. In the second picture, look, it's a mommy and she's guarding her eggs. So first is the egg stage. The bearded dragon stays in its egg for 40 to 90 days until it's ready to hatch. In their eggs, they are weightless, Christopher and they gradually develop organs and a skeleton. So if you look, you could see at that bottom picture, there's some bearded dragons hatching. If Christopher will ever let me show the camera. So let's see what happens next. So after they're in their egg, next they hatch and they become what's called a hatchling. Can you guys say hatchling? Very good. And if you look at this picture up here, there's a bearded dragon at each life cycle stage. And we're gonna be talking about the little guy right on top. So after the eggs hatch, the babies that come out are called hatchlings. This is the second stage. The bearded dragons hatch from their eggs through an opening called piping. They stay hatchlings for about six months. And do you guys remember when our buddy Lenny, who's right here, was a hatchling? Right there is his picture when he was just a hatchling from earlier in the year. And if you see, it's really cool. You could see their heads coming out of the piping. That's what that's called. And down here, that's my hand, and I'm holding Lenny when he was just born. And this is just a picture from the internet. So... Now that we've done egg and hatchling, the next one is called juvenile. Can you guys say juvenile? Great job. And if you look, it's this one we're at now. He's a little bigger than that guy, but still smaller than the next two. Third is the juvenile stage, and it is filled with fun. Juvenile dragons are energetic and curious. They eat more than adults since they are still growing. This stage lasts from six months to one year of age. And this is what Lenny is right now. And here he's a juvenile. He is not one yet, but he is over six months old. So we call him a juvenile. And if you look at these pictures, I don't think any of these were Lenny. Because when I made this book, I did not have any pictures of him because he was still a hatchling. But if you look, there's a different bearded dragon in somebody's hand, and it's bigger than that picture of Lenny. Look at their beautiful colors. Hmm, so cute. So next is the next stage our buddy Lenny will enter soon. He was born in June. So in June, Lenny is going to become a sub-adult. Can you guys say sub-adult? Awesome, you said it perfectly. So if you look, there's an arrow, and we're at this one. Bigger than those two, but smaller than the next one. Fourth is the sub-adult stage. It lasts from one to two years of age. During this stage, they may want to eat less since they are going through less growing. Sub-adults develop their beard around this stage. And in these pictures, you could see the different sub-adults. Down here, this one is getting pretty big in that lady's hand. Look at that face. You can see the beard is what's coming in here. Lenny already has developed his beard quite a bit, but I'm curious to see how much bigger it's going to get once he turns one. So the last stage in the bearded dragon life cycle is called an adult. Just like humans, we become adults. 
The final stage is the adult stage. This happens immediately when they become two years old. At this stage, bearded dragons calm down and spend their days relaxing. Adults experience spring fever at some point between the months of March and August every year. They could be seen doing silly things in their homes and they may need extra playtime. And if we look over here, look how big that bearded dragon is in that guy's arm. It covers the whole thing. Lenny doesn't cover that much of me yet. He's still just in my hand. And you could see over here some more adults. This one's in the wild, a bearded dragon. And look on top, our arrow's pointing to the biggest one. Adults are the biggest because it's the final stage of growing. Look at how big this beard is in that one. And that was the life cycle of a bearded dragon. We could go through it again now that we know each one. So they start as an egg, and then once they hatch through the piping in the egg, they become a hatchling. And then they grow into a juvenile, and then a sub-adult, and then an adult. And that is the bearded dragon life cycle. Thank you guys for listening to this story with me and with Lenny and Christopher since he always needs attention. And now I thought maybe we could try and take Lenny out of his tank and I could show you guys him. What do you think? Yeah? All right, let's try and get our buddy Lenny out of his tank. So, as you remember from school, I'm still the only person that holds Lenny. Let's see what he's doing today. Come here, baby. Hi, Lenny. So we've got Lenny. He says hi to everybody. You want to show everybody your face? Christopher, leave Lenny alone. So Lenny, as you guys remember, was a little too crazy for me to bring him out during the school year. But, oh, he's trying to jump. He's calming down quite a bit lately as he's growing up. He's still a juvenile, but he will be a sub-adult soon. Oh, Lenny, bad boy. Always trying to do what he's not supposed to. Do you guys say hi to Lenny and Chris? Chris, buddy, you gotta move. We're trying to show off Lenny. Look how big Lenny is getting. And if you look at his tail, look, let me put this down for a second. His tail looks like a different color right now. Christopher, get out of here, baby. That's because Lenny is about to shed, which is something reptiles do. Their skin doesn't grow with them. Their skin is their old size, and when their body grows, they just take it off like a shirt that's too small. So Lenny's tail is a little gray right now because his tail is growing, which means it's time for him to shed his tail skin, and then it's going to be this beautiful color that's on his back. Good boy, Lenny. Would you guys like to see his face again? Here, Len. My love. Say hi. <laughs> Let's put you back in, buddy. That was so much fun, and I'm so happy you guys got to see Lenny and Christopher, who is never listening to me, but what's new? So check in next time for another story, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, friends. Christopher, would you like to say bye? Say bye, Chris. No. I'll talk to you guys later.